Our top story tonight, a four-year-old boy is recovering from critical injuries after losing his mother in a train crash in Lincoln earlier this week. It is just a heartbreaking story, and tonight the family is talking to ABC 10. Van Tu spoke to the father, and Vanny says it's hard to grieve the death of his wife while his child is still in the hospital. Yeah, Chris, Travis Nunes says it is a miracle his son is alive and he's hopeful his little fighter will soon be discharged from the hospital. That is his top priority right now as questions linger. Just how did a train crash into his wife's vehicle a mile from their home at a railroad crossing they have driven over countless times before? Nunes family shared a beautiful morning at a pumpkin patch Monday celebrating their daughter's birthday, not knowing this family photo would be their last one altogether, just three hours before tragedy struck. Kills you to see your baby hurting and you can't take the pain away. Four-year-old Easton in critical condition with two broken femurs, contusions in his lungs and bruising all over his body after a train hit the car he was in at this railroad crossing on Lincoln Boulevard and Ferrari Ranch Drive Monday night. His mother Ashley Rhodes did not make it. The two coming home from a mommy and me bowling date. My wife was uh, the best mother in the world and she protected her babies. His father, Travis Nunes, says he hasn't been able to properly grieve his wife, a selfless woman who made friends everywhere she went. His priority, he says, right now are his children and making sure Easton makes it home. He's a fighter, just like his mom was. Since that night, Nunes has been by his son's bedside. On Thursday, he said he delicately told him what happened to his mother. His eyes, eyes started tearing up. Um, his lip quivered, you know, his lower lip quivered, and he just rolled over to the side, and I can clearly see that he's, he's depressed. He's very depressed. He lost his mommy and, um, and his best friend, truly his best friend. Through the pain, Nunes says the outpour of community support has kept him uplifted. A GoFundMe to help with funeral, medical, and recovery expenses raised more than $100,000 in a day. Meanwhile, Union Pacific officials say initial investigation reports indicate the railroad crossing gates were lowered and functioning as intended. Community members have raised concerns about the crossing to Nunes, and he said he will fight for answers. And you better believe we are going to be looking into this. She's irreplaceable. Um, the fact my son is alive is a miracle. And uh, I'm, I'm thankful that I get to uh, most likely... And, and, but we're going to bring him home. You can hear his voice cracking as he's really trying to hold it together for his son. It will be a journey for this family. Meanwhile, we did pull records for this specific crossing. Records show there have been two train and vehicle collisions at this crossing before, one in 2008 and one in 1989. In both cases, the driver survived. The report noted that the drivers crossed or drove around the gates and were struck by a freight train. Now, this latest crash is under investigation.